Okay, so I, in this series, I thought I'd do some Bridgman studies, and then I'll talk my way through it. So what I like to do is, I like to make everything really small and vague. The vaguer, the better, because when it's vague, it's subject to interpretation. When it's too um, specific, it's not subject to interpretation, right? So that's why, and I use these as a roadmap, like a guide. So first things first, what I like to do is just examine the thing, right? So I'm looking at this right now. I like to go with gray. So the first thing I want to do is this. Just to get an idea of the rhythm, right? Because that's what he's doing right here. So that's one. And uh, what I like to do is just get my hand just to feel it out, okay? I just want to feel it. Okay, now what I like to do next is start examining the thing, right? So I'll start making like big blocks like this. I call them suggestions. Make my own language up. Okay. Now within this suggestion, yeah, so within this shape here, what he's done is, and I'll do it here. Okay, so what he's doing here is he, uh, even though it, it, this is the, the shape and sort of the silhouette, he's giving you a direction. So, you know, it's becoming a little bit like he, he's making it dimensional. And as you try, I'm not trying to copy him, per se. I'm just trying to understand him. Does that make sense? It's not so much about copying this stuff. It's more about understanding this stuff. What good is it to copy if you don't get it, right? So let's talk about a few things, yeah? So pretty much what's going on here and here is we have a shape that encases the, the direction of this thing, right? So this is the direction, right? Kind of like this. And we're not focused right now on details, just direction, right? So the direction is doing this. Now we need the shapes to do that too, right? And then we put dimensionality to it. Does that make sense? Right? Okay, so let's talk about, now So now that there's dimensionality to it, you know, just to be a, a little bit more specific. Now we're doing this, right? Within the shape, right?
Okay, now there are a few things I want to talk about. Let's talk about this real quick. All right, why did I do this? Why? Why? That's the question. Why? Why am I doing this? How do I know to do it, right? It's not in the drawing. I don't see it. Right? Why? Why am I doing it? Let's talk about that. So, the pelvis, right? We have our bone looks like this. And the bottom looks like a triangle, goes down this way. Okay. And then this part is a solid square. See that? Solid square. So this is a square, see? Now the rest is going to be anatomy. It's going to be. Neat. Let's pick a color. Let's pick red. Yeah. And it counts right here. Right? And then this area here is the calf. And these are little micro little things that we see, we really don't see them as much. But, all right, and so this is really protruded out, honestly, would be something here. And if you were to do the actual, like, here. I mean, if I had to, like, be for reals about it, I mean, I don't want to cheat you guys here. So this would be here. It's the pubic bone right there, right? Okay. Now let's go ahead. And then right here, right, that's the bone. And then it goes like this. Then this here's this big this big muscle here, right? And then one that goes here. And then here's the pubic bone. Right? And in here is part of our glutes. I know it gets a little lumpy. So, got that, got that, we got that, we got that. And then this is bone, right? All this is bone, see? All that's bone. This is anatomy. And then this is bone, right? And that's why when I did this lump, I did this. Because that's an indicator of bone, okay? Just so you guys know, when I draw a line, I'm not just drawing a line. That's why when I'm reading into the Bridgman stuff, see here? See those little dots there, right? So if we wanted to read into it, those dots, that's the new cap, right there. This bottom thing here, that he drew here, the little micro thing, it's this bone right there, see? And that's why I know to draw like a little triangle-like thing, okay? And then here, that's going to be a little fat in tendons, right? But he does this, right? Like these little wobbly things. Here is the bone. Right there. That's the pelvis right there. You can see it here, right? When I drew it. So we'll draw it here, see? And then this area here is the pelvis, see? So it pays off learning your anatomy and learning your, your bones and stuff. And the tendons, and then we're gonna get a little, you know, calves here and there. This is still bone. You understand? See? And the pelvic bone, there's a little gap here. A little bone right there. This is where we're born, the canal where we're going through. There's a little gap. See that little gap? That little gap is where our private parts are at, see? And that's where you want to leave that at here. That's where there's a little triangle, see? Right there. Okay, so that's our pubic bone. So that explains this area, okay? So that's why I'm drawing those things. You see these lumps here? I'll tell you what that's about. We have our humerus bone. We have this little lump that comes out here in the humerus bone, okay? And 
and then um, have our scapula, and then this is our collarbone, right? So what happens is this is our bone, and then this is the curvature of this bone right here. See? So there's actually like two little lumps, but it's only because of this curvature of this bone. And then from here, here's the other one. So that's like the three parts of our shoulder, right? So this is the first part right here. This is the second part right there. And the third one's behind, okay? But all of that, so I can explain to you why he did it here, see? It's very small, but he did do it. The scapula, humerus bone, see? So there's two little ones, see? So it's here. That's why I drew that. See here, I'm missing the scapula, so I'm gonna draw right there, the bone, and then that, see? All right. And that's why I drew all those little things. Tomorrow I'll do another study. I hope this was helpful to a lot of people. Um, if you have any more questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. But every day, the goal is to do a little bit of these things. So um, uh, hopefully somebody has picked something up here and enjoyed the content. Cool. Thank you. See you.